Hi there, welcome back to my shop. Now I realize that usually my videos are on wood turning, but every once in a while I'm going to be taking a break and doing other things because my back is still not a good spot. So today I am going to try using the laser engraver to cut out the parts I need to make an Eiffel Tower. Now you can see, I hope in the picture here, the Eiffel Tower that I'm going to try to create. I've downloaded those files from a site on the internet. I'll leave a link to that if you're interested. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly. Um, the burning might not be quick, but the video of it certainly will be. So I hope you'll stick around and see what I come up with. I'm going to show you a very quick version of the burning, explain how I'm going to glue it together and show you the final results. So I hope you'll stick around. Now I had a problem, as you can see with this one, there is a fluorescent light right above this thing, and I've never had it happen before, but the lens that covers the tubes fell out right on top of this engraver and shut it down. This did a beautiful job. All right, now I've got to get it ready to glue everything together.
Now there's one area here. This can happen. It didn't go all the way through and it's probably because there is a glue spot. If you've got extra thick glue, that can happen. Unfortunate, but with a little luck, I will be able to take a utility knife and just cut these out and these will fall out as well. If not, I guess I will have to reburn one of these, but it doesn't take all that long. As you can see, I have the base put together. It's only held with single strip of masking tape on each corner. Now I'm going to take the masking tape off one corner and I'm going to put this together. As you can see, there are two tabs to go into the two slots. But I'm only going to glue one of these tabs, just the top one, on each corner. And then when it's put together, I will do the bottom ones. I want to make sure it's still going to be flexible enough to put these together properly. So I'm going to put each one together by putting a little bit of Starbond medium CA glue in the slot, fit it together, and then give it a quick shot with Starbond accelerator. All right, now I've got the fine tip on here to try to make sure that I don't get this glue all over the place. And as you can see, I've already got it falling apart. But as long as I can just get this one tab glued in, I'll be happy. So I'm just using a little bit. I don't want it to be so much that it's going to be running all over the place. Even though it's the medium glue, it can still run around a bit. So let me get this put in here. We hope. All right, got it in there. Now if I can hold it and spray it at the same time. See if that will work. All right, that seemed to work. Now I'm going to do the other three corners. <laughs> well, maybe not. All right, glue in the slot. I'll spray the accelerator on here. See if I can get this to go together. All right, now it's set. I'll do the other three and I'll be back. Okay, that worked pretty well once I figured out which was my thumb and which was my finger. Got a little confusing there. Anyway, now I'm going to put this bottom one together and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here in the slot, spray here with the accelerator and try to line them up perfectly at the bottom.
All right, just a couple of seconds holding it and it's ready. So now I'll go around and do the other three and I'll be back again. Okay, this is all put together now and secure. So I'm going to put this platform on here now and that's going to support the tower that's going up from this level. Now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to put glue between these tabs. Then I will get this put into position, assuming it's not too difficult and it looks like they're going to slide in there very easily. I will turn it upside down and then I will spray some CA, some, uh, CA glue accelerator inside here. I don't want to put that on first because if I end up with this not sitting in there quite correctly, it might just freeze it in place before I'm ready for it. So, time for the star bond. All right, I'm not sure that the accelerator has really got in the right places. So I'm just going to let this sit here for a while to make sure the CA glue has time to bond. All right, now it's time to put the rail around here. I've got the first three on and they only go on one way. I'm sure you can see that this end has to fit over top of this. But if I reverse it, then it's too short. It wants to fit inside there. So it's pretty hard to get it in there wrong. I've got the first three finished, as I said. Now I'm just going to put this fourth one on and I will be back. All right, the second story on here, I glued it together the same way I did the base area. Now I just need to set these tabs in here I will put some glue between the tabs, put it back into place, spray some accelerator around the outside, and it will be ready to go. I'll be back as soon as I finish that. I've got the second story on here and finished just the same way I did the bottom part. Now it's time to start putting on the derrick. So, this is only going to go one way. I'm not sure if I can get a decent view here somehow. So I'm going to glue in the first one at the bottom to make sure it's put in there very solidly. Then I'll bring the second one and it's going to go in here. I'm sure I've got my fingers in the way. Let's see, we'll go in here and fit all the way up here. And I'll glue this entire thing, then do the third one and the fourth one, one at a time. And this is where I have to be very careful. If I get something just a little bit out of place, the whole thing is going to be messed up and there's no way I'm going to take this apart. So that will mean, <laughs> using a burn barrel, I guess. So I'm not going to try to show you that. My hands are always in the way. I'll be back once I get this together. Well, that's it. It's all put together now. I did not show how to put this little platform at the top together, but I don't think you're gonna need any help with that if you decide to make one of these. This was a lot of fun, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of wows <laughs> out of friends when they see this. Not everybody has one of these sitting on the floor in their living room. Now, I did not measure this, but let's see just how tall this is. 575 millimeters, give or take a couple of millimeters. At the base, it's 
155 millimeters across. This was, like I said, a lot of fun. Well, there you are. That's the finished product. And I'm, I'm real happy with that. It's not something that I would have gone out and bought in a store somewhere or anything, but the challenge of burning it and then putting it together was just too much to resist. And it'll probably end up who knows where in the future, but for now it can sit on the floor in the corner in my living room, just a display piece, <laughs> no big deal. But I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have your own laser engraver, I hope you'll give this a try. So until next time, and hopefully next time we'll be wood turning because I've taken a bit of a break and maybe I can get back to that. I hope you have a great day in your shop and be safe. If you would like to help me out a little bit, just click that like button. It helps with the algorithm on YouTube. And if you'd share this out with others, I'd really appreciate that. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. All right. Have that great day in your shop now, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye now.